Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to do a Venus flytrap collection video. So I'm going to show off all of my cultivars and everything else that I've got. So it's not going to be a particularly long video out of um, most of the carnivorous plants I collect. Um, the flytrap is one of those ones that um, I'll only buy the cultivars like if they come up so at certain opportunities. Not really ones that I especially look out for um, compared to like Saracenia. Like if I I'm searching for a Saracena, I will keep looking until I find it or do a little bit extra to find something. Where with the cultivars, I kind of just scroll through, and if I find something that I like, then I will um, obviously buy it. But um, yeah, so I've got a few in my collection. I thought it'd just be a nice video to show them off, especially as I've done a Drosa video and a Saracenia specific video. So I thought this would be a nice one to do just to show off that side of my collection. So all of my Venus flytrap cultivars are over here. So if I just start with what we've got over here. So this is my red dragon, which is the Aku Ryu. Um, at the moment it hasn't really got its colour. So it's a, one of my newest um, cultivars. So it doesn't yet have like full growth or colour. At the moment it's slightly green, but slowly it is going nice red colour. So I'm really liking this one though at the moment. So I think there's like three in there. So it'll be a great one to divide in winter. So while it's looking like this, I'll divide it once it starts going dormant as well. This one as well is another new one that I've recently added to the collection. It's a bristle tooth. I just really like this one because of the colour. Like, it's got the really nice distinctive red inside with the green on the outside. So it's like a proper like flush of colour. And obviously the teeth as well just top it off really nicely. Plus these ones divide really easily from the rhizome, so they're a very good one to have loads of, you get a lot of them really quickly, because you can see just there, it's already starting to divide and there are only young ones. So over here is my absolute favourite cultivar, and I don't think anything will ever be able to top this for me, is the phalanx. So as you can see, the teeth on these, or the lashes, are amazingly long. So mine's only a young specimen, but even in its young age, these traps are amazing. So they've got really nice big traps and then the lashes are so long that they start out like this red color and then go into a really nice white. And obviously as adults as well, that color is so much more divined or refined. Um, but look, even when they like close, so this one's obviously been triggered. I don't think it's got anything in it, but as you can see, it's just such an amazing color. So all the traps possess a really nice color. So it did start creating some upright petioles as well, but it's just an absolutely outstanding cultivar and it seems to also um, divide really nicely from the rhizome because I've got about three babies in here, which again in winter I'm going to divide up, which will be really good. Next to my phalanx here I have got my dentate. So it was given to me and labelled as a dentate, but I've always kind of thought that it looks a little bit like the dentee. So um, the dentate's always had these like triangular kind of teeth where the dentate kind of has like a sawtooth kind of clustered tooth to it but obviously I'm not really sure if mine is what it's labelled as but still it's a really nice plant with this nice clustered growth and the upright petioles along with like a pinky red flush in the middle of the traps. It's really nice, it's not fully dark red, it's kind of like a nice flush, a little bit, you know, it's got a bit of green and a bit of red in it. So that's nice. Um, so my largest cultivar that I've got um, is just Beastie Boy. So I don't have any of the exotic like beef tattoos. That is one that I would like to um, add to my collection. But for now, the biggest trap that I've um, got in my collection is this Beastie Boy. I love the colour on this one though, because again, it has the really nice maroon colour inside, which is the old traps are even better. And they've got quite long lashes with obviously the very large teeth. Um, yeah, very large teeth and traps, which they've got, which you can see next to this Anglica. So that's another really nice one. It's got a really nice big rhizome as well. Um, this one at the front here is my cup trap. So it's always been quite a small specimen. This was one that I got um, for my birthday and it was quite small. But it's recently produced these upright petioles. It flowered twice this year, which I was very surprised about. This, um, you know, despite its size, and that kind of took a little bit out of this one, um, as you can see. But again, it's divided really nicely from the rhizome. I've got a couple of little babies there, which are looking lovely, 
So I, I'm really excited to divide them up this winter as well because I really want a couple more of these because I really do like the cup trap. And I can't wait to see what it becomes next year as well. At the back here I've got a Darwin. So this is another cold file which produces really nice large traps. This one um, again is only a small specimen. This year it's kind of grown quite leggy I would say but then it has been moved back so it's been crushed by this filiformis and other banata that I've got in here. So um, obviously it's not looking great but I've pulled it forward now and even though it hasn't stood up right it's still um, I guess on its way to recovery but after it's nice um, dormant period I'm sure next year it'll be, be producing really nice large traps but for now it's still got just still really nice colour interesting petioles it's got obviously just a single like stalk rather than the leaf around the outside which is interesting uh, over here is my fuse tooth I've always kind of seen it as an extreme fuse tooth because especially in the summer the traps fuse completely so you can see this one and the one next to it the whole set of teeth um, or lashes they completely fuse but in the early and colder months they only produce this which is like a couple of fused teeth um, and some normal traps as well which you can see here is like a normal trap but there's another interesting one it's not my favorite I think this is a um, very interesting mutation but it's sometimes it's a little bit extreme for me um, like I like the flanks purely because it's just a nice simple but with that kind of subtle difference where obviously the extreme and the fused tooth are well very fused you can see they're completely different and very mutant so it's still a nice one to that like, I've got in my collection but again not my favorite um, so here is my mega traps so it again doesn't really have um, any large traps like this beastie boy it's slowly um, getting up in size this year it hasn't produced any upright petioles it's just a clustered kind of form um, but again after um, after winter then hopefully they'll grow better most of these um, cold files I've got were from this year anyway so they've all been repotted in the wrong time of year so I'm hoping that after they've had a year um, obviously after dormancy they will grow a lot better which will be beneficial for the plant and next year's growth. Over here I've got two of my currently best looking um, flytrap cultivars so these two just work really well together so like my all red and all green Saracenia forms they just look so nice with the contrasting colour when they sit next to each other so this here is my green sawtooth so it's a quite a small specimen but the traps that it produces are just so sweet look at the little saw teeth that it's got on that it is just the most adorable thing that i've currently got and as you can see it's like a really nice even cluster as well it's very small but it's lovely and then next to this um red piranha that i've got over here it's just like the color that all green and all red so with this red piranha it's the best it's ever looked and it's got such lovely coloration so like in the trap you can see there with all the shining of obviously the nectar that's in there it's almost like a black like a night sky kind of effect that's got in there so lovely maroon dark color that it's got so with these lovely teeth just look at those and as a form of like a whole plant a plant as a whole it's just really really beautiful with obviously the weed banana that it's got in there but these two together are just absolutely stunning and i just really like them at the moment so my last cold for that I've got to show is this yellow fuse tooth. So it's not um, that impressive and I don't really show it that often. It is kind of just pushed to the back purely because um, even though it's got such a really nice, again, like a really light lime to yellow colour, it obviously has never fused. So this is quite a new and um, not very stable cold for it. It's never fused and I don't think many people who own this cold for have ever had one that has fused like a fused tooth but it's still a lovely colour and I'm going to keep it just to see what it turns into and you can see it's caught um, one of those spiders with really small bodies and long legs which I don't know how they get in there but look, it's disgusting to look at I don't want to um, you know it's not something you want to remove from a trap because the legs are there are everywhere which isn't that nice of a picture so now I'm going to move on to my typicals um, just because I've got a few really interesting typicals which are just really worth showing so these are my absolute favourite typicals 
which are ones in my bunny bog planter so I have three of these I've got two here this one has been unfortunately um, always been a bit smaller because it's been a bit crushed by this heather there's a saratinia and even a drosa weed in there um, but as you can see the colour and I will go on and say this for people who have obviously um, seen me talk about this before and even though it might be really annoying <laughs> being you know all the things I say about this it is just amazing colour and I think I've decided that I'm going to have to at least even if it's not an official name just come up with a name to call these something because just calling them typicals is just too you know it's just demeaning really like the colour on these is amazing so they start off like a normal um, fly trap um, trap with obviously the really nice outside rims which then go into this full flush of like maroon to an older trap which is darker and has that almost really dark ready purple around the outside with they've got like a nice flush as well on the outside with the pink lashes so they are a lovely typical that I have got here and um, obviously very lucky to have something like this which looks lovely in this bog um, so yeah I've propagated quite a few of these got quite a few divisions of this so it's a lovely one to have and I'm just so glad that I have got such an amazing typical rather than having something that well just looks typical really over on this side is just some more typical so this is a cluster of rescue typicals that I had and as you can see they are looking amazing there's about four or five in this pot and one of these when I got them was in flower but because it wasn't looking that great I just stuck the flower stalk in the middle which showed you how small these were because there was so much room in the middle for this flower stalk and as they've got bigger um, it's covered the flower stalk but look as you can see the flower stalk I put in here is still mostly green and look this is what if, you're, if you've taken the flower stalk puddings this year um, or cuttings this is what it should look like so the baby fly traps come from the bottom of the stalk and obviously when they get a little bit bigger I'll take them out of this pot um, so at the moment I'm not too worried about these growing over because it'll be dormancy soon so they'll start dying down and I'll take this little guy out but as you can see that is just um, great that I've got one of those unfortunately none of my cultural ones work this year um, but at least I managed to get one success just to show it as an example so these are the ones I took last year from my um, typicals in the bunny box if I just show you them next to and side to side you can see that the well offspring are exactly the same as the cloned parent material with the same lovely coloration and the red strip on the outside of the traps so these are just again really nice um, to have which is something different compared to here's some other typicals that I've also had um, and even though they have a really nice colour on the inside they have never had the same you know like strips on the outside or um, colour as strong so these have always had the same amount of light but they've never obviously performed any better so it's just interesting to see what types of typicals you can get um, I'm just showing you this one because it's really interesting that one of them has um, made like a mutant trap which obviously is sometimes how cultivars can start but um, most of the times obviously if I took that as a leaf pulling it would just produce a typical so I am just savouring it because it kind of looks like a cup trap as you can see from the above so it's got the cross teeth at the back as it laps all the way around and it's got a little point at the bottom which obviously the cup trap does not have and I just think it's really sweet so it's just nice to look at so I've moved this fly trap just so I can see the progress on that single trap but other than that that is all of the fly traps that I've got because the rest of them that I've got are all just typicals and by now you've seen obviously most of the ones that I've got so that's all of my fly traps that I've got at the moment so that is basically my fly trap collection so it's not the most um, extensive collection it doesn't obviously show as much bizarre as other collections which must have loads of um, cultivars and really interesting things to show but what I've got at the moment I'm quite happy with it's just nice to have that bit of variation and some few interesting cultivars which have made their way into the collection over the years so I'm really happy with that so that's what I've got to show today I was thinking of making a was like going to be like a small series of short videos of um, care tips so it'll be care tips on individual plants so saracenia, flytraps, drosera etc 
Um, so I might start doing that soon. It'll be interesting, obviously, for beginners or people who just want uh, some extra tips. And I thought, as it's approaching winter, it'll be an interesting thing to do. So I'm hoping people will be interested in that um, because I'm hoping to do a couple of those in the upcoming weeks. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.